Hey guys, this is John Riddle from uh, Progressive Self-Defense Systems down in Boca Raton, Florida. Uh, we're out here today at Okeechobee Shooting Sport in Okeechobee and I'm teaching a basic defensive pistol course. Uh, the people behind me are my instructor staff from Progressive Self-Defense Systems. They're mainly my uh, combatives and Krav Maga instructors. So I've got them out here today giving them, give them a taste of the uh, basic defensive pistol course. And when I come out here and start teaching out here, they're going to be some of my assistant instructors. So we hope to see you out here and uh, have a great day. I know we are. Take care. How you doing? My name is Joe Castellano. Uh, I've been working with uh, John Riddle for two and a half years now, and we're doing our shooting classes now. I think everybody that owns a firearm should do further training, uh, because just shooting paper targets and you know standing at a range is much different than doing what we're doing. Uh, you need to know how to draw. You need to know how to draw and aim. Um, it's, it's a big difference between what we're doing and just shooting paper targets. My name is Chris Gallis. Um, I'm a Red Belt Assistant Instructor. I've been with John Riddle for about seven years now in firearms. And um, out of the group of us, I'm probably the most novice at um, handguns. And what I'm trying to do is learn more about how to handle handgun safety and responsibility, as well as just becoming a, a responsible gun owner. Hi, my name is Lee Garzinski. I'm co-owner of Progressive Self-Defense Systems. I've been training under John for the last six years um, for empty hand self-defense and Krav Maga. If you're going to carry, you need to know how to um, maneuver, whether you are taking it from a concealed location or you have it in your home. If you have stoppages, how to reload, how to shoot on the move, because you just never know when you're going to be in a certain situation that may call for that. And even if you don't carry yourself, if you're a significant other or a family member has a weapon, it's important that if something happens, you know how to handle it. 